you need probiotics. Here's why. In this video, we're diving deep into why you need probiotics. Discover the compelling reasons behind the importance of incorporating probiotics into your daily routine. We'll explore the incredible benefits of probiotics for your gut health, immune system, and overall well-being. Join us for a comprehensive discussion on the reasons why you should consider adding probiotics to your daily regimen. Learn how these tiny microorganisms can make a huge difference in your health and vitality. Don't miss out on this essential information about probiotics. Your gut will thank you. Did you know that your gut is a bustling ecosystem, hosting trillions of bacteria, a mix of good and bad? When this delicate balance is disrupted, it can trigger a cascade of health issues, ranging from troublesome digestive problems to pesky allergies, and believe it or not, even more serious autoimmune diseases. The culprits behind this imbalance are varied and pervasive. It can occur when you take antibiotics, indulge in a highly processed diet, find yourself battling chronic stress, or contend with specific medical conditions. The consequences of a disrupted gut ecosystem can be far-reaching and unsettling. But fear not, because there's a solution. Probiotics. Probiotics consists of live bacteria and yeasts that mimic the beneficial microorganisms naturally residing in your gut. By incorporating probiotics into your routine, you can help restore harmony to your gut's microbial world, leading to improved overall health and well-being. In today's video, we'll dive deeper into the world of probiotics, exploring what they do, why they're essential, and where you can find them to reclaim your gut's equilibrium. Good gut health means that your stomach and digestion are working well, and you have a balance of tiny living things in your stomach called gut microbiome. These little guys are important because they help you digest your food, soak up nutrients, and keep your body working properly. Research has shown that these gut microbes can affect different parts of your health, your immune system. Having a healthy gut full of these little microbes is very important for your immune system. They can help protect your body from harmful germs and help your immune system grow strong. Mental health. There's more and more evidence suggesting that the little gut microbes might be linked to how you feel mentally. If there's an imbalance of these microbes, it might have something to do with feeling anxious, sad, or even having conditions like autism. Autoimmune diseases. These microbes also play a part in diseases where your immune system attacks your own body, like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. Endocrine disorders. These gut microbes can mess with your hormone levels and might have something to do with diseases like type 2 diabetes. Gastrointestinal disorders. If your gut microbes are out of whack, it can cause problems in your stomach and intestines like irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease. Heart health. Some studies say there might be a connection between these little gut guys and how healthy your heart is, but scientists still need to learn more about this. Cancer. There's a chance that these microbes might have had a hand in causing certain types of cancer, but more research is needed to know for sure. You can keep your gut healthy by making some changes in your life and diet, like eating foods with probiotics and taking good care of your stomach. So, what are probiotics? Probiotics are like tiny good soldiers in your body. They're live helpers made up of good bacteria and yeasts. Your body has both good and bad bacteria, and probiotics are the good ones that keep your healthy and feeling good. They help by fighting off the bad bacteria when it gets too strong. Now, think of your body as a big forest, and inside it, there's a bustling community of tiny creatures called microbes. These creatures include bacteria, yeasts, viruses, and protozoa. There are so many of them, trillions actually, and they're unique to you. Even if you have a twin, your microbes are different from theirs. Hey, before we continue, we want you to know that we're always making new content, so make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Where can the helpful microbes in my body be found? While the most well-known spots for these good microbes is your gut, they also live in different parts of your body that touch the outside world. These places include your stomach and intestines, mouth, vagina, urinary tract, skin, and lungs. How do probiotics work? Probiotics, the good bacteria, have a vital role in keeping your body healthy. Think of them as the body's balance keepers. When you get sick, harmful bacteria invade your body and multiply, causing an imbalance. This throws your body out of whack. Good bacteria step in to fight off the harmful ones, 
and restore your body's balance, making you feel better. Good bacteria maintain your health by boosting your immune system and controlling inflammation. Some kinds of good bacteria can also aid in digesting your food, prevent bad bacteria from getting too strong and making you sick, make essential vitamins, protect the lining of your gut to stop harmful bacteria you might have consumed through food or drinks from entering your bloodstream, help break down and absorb medications. This balancing act is happening naturally in your body all the time. You don't actually need to take probiotic supplements for it to work. Good bacteria are already a part of your body. Eating a well-rounded diet with plenty of fiber every day helps maintain the right levels of good bacteria. Also, probiotics are like different types of friendly bugs. They come in groups called genera and have their own special names. Some common groups are Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, Saccharomyces, Streptococcus, Enterococcus, Escherichia, and Bacillus. Let's talk about a few of them. Lactobacillus. You can find this in foods like yogurt and kefir. It can help your tummy feel better if you have problems like diarrhea or can't handle milk. Bifidobacterium. This type of probiotic is often used in foods and pills. They're good for your belly, especially if you have issues like a grumpy gut or constipation. Saccharomyces. This is a type of yeast that's used in some probiotics. It's a stomach superhero and can help with tummy troubles like diarrhea or angry bowels. Streptococcus. You usually find this in your mouth and throat, but some kinds can be probiotics too. They're handy for issues like diarrhea and milk problems. Esterococcus. These bugs like to hang out in your intestines. Some types can help with things like diarrhea and cranky bowels. Escherichia. This bug is also common in your intestines. Certain types can be probiotics and help with issues like diarrhea and upset bowels. Bacillus. You can often find these bugs in dirt and water, but certain types can be used as probiotics to help with things like diarrhea and angry bowels. You can get probiotics from two main places, food and supplements. When it comes to food, here are some examples of things that have probiotics in them. Yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, tempeh, kombucha, pickles, sourdough bread, soft cheeses like bry, and cumminbert. Besides probiotic, there's another food that's super important for your gut, fiber. Fiber is a kind of carb that your body can't break down. You find it in plant foods like fruits, veggies, whole grains, and beans. Fiber is like a superhero in your diet because it brings a bunch of good stuff. First, it keeps your tummy happy. Fiber helps your digestion work smoothly and keeps away tummy troubles like constipation. It also helps with your sugar levels. Fiber slows down how sugar gets into your blood, which helps keep your sugar levels steady. Moreover, it fights bad cholesterol. Fiber grabs onto cholesterol and keeps it out of your body. Fiber also helps with your weight. Fiber makes you feel full after eating, so you eat less and can either lose weight or stay at a healthy weight. Lastly, it keeps bad diseases away. Fiber is like a shield against diseases like heart problems, strokes, type 2 diabetes, and some cancers. So, eating fiber-rich foods is like giving your gut and your whole body a big, healthy hug. Now, there are two main kinds of fiber, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber dissolves in water and makes a kind of thick goo. It slows down digestion, helps lower cholesterol, keeps blood sugar steady, and makes you feel full. You can find soluble fiber in things like oats, barley, beans, lentils, peas and fruits like apples, pears, and oranges, plus veggies like carrots, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. On the other hand, insoluble fiber doesn't dissolve in water. It helps your tummy work well, prevents constipation, and adds bulk to your poop to make it easier to go. You can get insoluble fiber from whole grains like brown rice and whole wheat bread, veggies like celery, green beans, and cauliflower, and nuts, seeds, and brown. Hey there, before we reveal the foods rich in fiber, make sure to tap that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This way, you won't miss out on our newest videos. You can decide if you want notifications for just a few videos or all of them. It's your choice. And if you're using your phone, don't forget to enable notifications in your settings. Now here's a list of foods rich in fiber. For fruits, apples, pears, berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes, avocados. For vegetables, 
broccoli, carrots, celery, green beans, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, artichokes, peas, spinach, kale, Swiss chard. For whole grains, oats, barley, brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, whole grain crackers. For legumes, beans like black beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, chickpeas, lentils, peas, and peanuts. For nuts and seeds, almonds, walnuts, pistachios, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Understanding the world of probiotics and the vital role they play in our health is like discovering a hidden treasure for your well-being. Probiotics, those helpful microbes are like the guardians of your gut, working tirelessly to keep you healthy and balanced. By incorporating probiotics into your daily routine, whether through foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, or supplements, you're taking a step towards maintaining good gut health. Remember, a healthy gut means happier, healthy you. And don't forget about the power of fiber. Fiber-rich foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes are your gut's best friend. They aid in digestion, stabilize blood sugar, and help with weight management. So give your gut the love it deserves with a diet rich in fiber. So which of the two are you going to try first, probiotics or fiber? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our latest content and for more resources and links related to today's topics, be sure to check out the description below. Thank you for watching and we look forward to reading your comments and engaging with you in our next video.